We are here at the Missouri Botanical Garden at Garden Glow. We have over two million lights here. So Garden Glow has been going on for 10 years now. This is the 10th anniversary. We were one of the first walking holiday light displays in St. Louis, so a great place where you can get outside with the family. That's a unique part of the display. There's about a mile that you can walk through a wide variety of different displays, and it is one of our most popular events. Tons of people come through and enjoy it, and it's a really beautiful experience. A lot of work goes into setting up Garden Glow every year. There are over two million lights here at Garden Glow, and it's actually a very small team that puts it up. It's mainly our events team and a handful of volunteers, which is about six people. It does seem like it sort of goes up very quickly, but in reality, they start in August. And they work really hard to put on a great event for everybody this year, so definitely check it out. You'll see some old favorites and traditions, but there are two big new things this year. There is the central axis, which is the area in front of the Climatron. There's a brand new beautiful show there with lights over the reflecting pools where the water lilies are in the summertime. But it creates this beautiful effect where it looks like there are way more lights than there are. And then for those who've been to Garden Glow in recent years, there's a projection show on Tower Grove House. But this year it's a brand new show on the house as well. So if you enjoy that, definitely check that out. This year you're bound to see some returning favorites like the Frosted Forest, where we have real cut Christmas trees that have holiday lights on them with the big blue large tree in the background there. That's a favorite. People love that tree. Another example of a returning favorite is um, the lily or tulip-like lights that are in the Rose Garden this year. Those are kind of a nice way to remind people where we're at in the Botanical Garden and all your tickets do support the garden's mission too, which is conserving plants, bringing them to people to enjoy in the public and learn about those. So it's a great way to kind of bring that into the experience. Garden Glow continues now through January 7th, so you have the whole holiday season to come check it out. So if you're interested, you can find tickets and all the information you need at mobot.org glow, and we hope you'll come see us. <laughs>